Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Conor McGregor's alleged victim, Samantha Murphy. Um, she's the one that was with him in Ibiza on his super yacht, and then she ended up jumping off. Well, she's apparently dropped the lawsuit um against Conor McGregor, which is, you know, insane. So we're going to be reading an article on MMA News, and we'll discuss it. But before we get into it, um, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to help support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. So let's get into it. All right. So her name is Samantha Murphy, right? And um, you know, uh, if you guys don't know the story, I'm gonna recap it real quick. She was on the on the super on Conor McGregor super yacht in Ibiza, which is in Spain, in uh last year in July. Um, Conor McGregor allegedly punched her and kicked her and threatened to drown her. So she jumped off the super yacht and then boom, she went to the authorities, and then she's like, you know, trying to um sue Conor McGregor and press charges, all that, right? So apparently she dropped the charges, right? And I was while doing some research and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, like her car. Like um about a month ago or so, don't quote me on that when, but her car was firebombed and apparently they were throwing like bricks through her window and stuff like that and and then and now all of a sudden look she dropped the charges you know, obviously it's all alleged we can't like say this is for sure this is Connor or not, but I'm just saying like it, it, it does seem a little bit crazy though that like the first the accusation by her being real you know Connor McGregor hitting a woman and then the woman jumping off. The super yacht, like I said in one of my other videos, it literally sounds like a James Bond movie, like the villain, you know? Like the woman, like like somebody's about to get killed by a villain in a James Bond movie, they jump off the yacht, press charges, and then they can't even press charges because Conor McGregor, maybe, they're, they're saying basically maybe Conor McGregor or someone he knows, maybe like scared her with a firebomb or the brick, which, you know, if you, would you, do you guys think Conor McGregor would actually do something like that, you know, threaten a victim that was suing him or whatever, because this, you know, this could potentially ruin his career, you know, hitting a woman and she'd jump off the yacht. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy if you think about it, right? The whole yacht thing, the firebomb thing, throwing bricks in the window thing. And now the lawsuit is being dropped. And they're not even saying why, like, the lawsuit is really being dropped. There's no real explanation. So we're going to read the article on animenews.com. And then let me know what you guys think, you know? Let's start. The woman um, who accused former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor of punching and kicking her during an assault on his yacht last summer has dropped the lawsuit. Last year, it was revealed that a woman um, later named as Samantha, Samantha Murphy claimed to have been attacked on McGregor's yacht. She, she reported the incident, which took place during the MMA star's 34th birthday celebration, whilst giving a statement on Sun Drive Garda Station in, in Crumlin. So, wow, this was during Connor's birthday. You know, he's probably drunk, wasted, you know. You, you never know what, maybe he was taking something, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people say he's, you know, just saying. That's so all people are saying, you know. Let's continue. At the time, McGregor was quickly cleared of any wrongdoing with Spain's um, Guardia um, civil insistence that it had ruled out that the perpetrator was Conor McGregor himself or that he was even involved. But earlier this year, the incident hit the headlines once again, having been initially archived. So the alleged victim's lawyers filed an appeal for reform in the um, order to reopen the case. Some troubling details emerged. In Murphy's account of the events, the former UFC title holder was accused of kicking and punching her before forcing her to flee into the water with a broken arm. Oh, yeah, she had, her arm, she had a broken arm. She got punched, kicked, broken arm, jumped off the yacht. That's crazy. You know, look how big this yacht is. Imagine jumping off. Uh, jumping off. Yeah, she probably, probably jumped off right here, I'm guessing. I don't know where exactly. It's a big-ass yacht. It's like a $2.7 million Lamborghini yacht. Let's continue. While a spokesperson for Conor McGregor um, refuted the accusations, an application for an order requiring the Irish star to preserve evidence relating to the case, including CCTV and phone footage, was scheduled to be um, acknowledged in the high court next week. Right, So I guess they're, they're, they're about to look at evidence or whatever, and then all of a sudden this lady just dropped the lawsuit, which is like, is that a coincidence? You know, you're, 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 you know your, your car gets firebombed, your house gets attacked by a brick, probably gets probably getting threats or something, and all of a sudden, then once she just drops the case, like, you know, obviously, it's all alleged, right? You know, you can't, we don't know that Conor McGregor was responsible for the car firebomb, or the brick through the window, or whatever, you know? We, we don't know, it's, everything's alleged, you know? But, is that a coincidence? The yacht, that she's suing for the yacht thing, pressing charges, or her dumping up the yacht and the assault, and then all of a sudden, the firebomb, the brick thing happened, and now she's dropping the case. You know, is that a coincidence? I'm just saying, let's continue. Alleged victim drops legal action a week before court involvement. So this is literally about to be exposed Connor in court. Remember, Connor right now is doing the ultimate fighter. So he's very high. He's like he's back in the, in back really in the headlines because he's doing the ultimate fighter versus Chandler. You know what I mean? So and this is like a week before um the court involvement, you know, which is like it's sick. She drops 
the legal action a week before it was going to be the CCTV floors would have got exposed. Because I feel like if they had any kind of, if they had the real footage of Connor attacking this woman and the woman jumping off and shit, Connor's reputation would be ruined. They'll and then they'll probably kick him out of the Ultimate Fighter. His whole reputation would be fucking ruined. That's why why Connor, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's alleged, right? Like like what are the chances? Of, I don't know where the, the, her car being firebombed or her house being attacked with a brick. You know what I mean? Like what are the chances of this? And what, and what are the chances? And right after the, like, you know, like, like, like that, that she decides to freaking, um, drop the charges as well. You know what I mean? Just, just, it doesn't, you know, if you like, anybody with common sense knows what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? Let's continue. Despite the case being reopened following its initial archiving, Murphy has now dropped the civil action case she was pursuing, um, against her, co um, compatriot whom she was noted as having reconnected with in the visa shortly before the alleged assault. Yes, so Tom McGregor knew her, like, you know. He just invited her for his birthday, you know? Let's continue. The woman is said to have um, filed high court papers earlier this week to end the case just a month after the appeal to reform. Murphy's lawyer, um, Alvaro Blasco, told the Irish Independent that a notice of this, this, con this continuance was filed after it was decided that she wanted the case terminated. While it's unclear what contributed to the sudden decision... See? While it's unclear um, what contributed to the sudden decision to call for the case to be struck out, it comes at a good time for Conor McGregor, who is looking to have focus remain on his upcoming return to the Octagon, which is the, you know, the ultimate fighter. He, he might, he probably is going to fight Michael Chandler and all that. He's back in the limelight, you know? So, once again, it is unclear what contributed to the sudden decision to call, basically, to pull the case off, you know, for her to stop, to drop the charges. Nobody knows why she did it, but obviously, she's probably scared for her life, let's be honest. She was scared of, you know, Conor McGregor has crazy money. He's worth probably like half a billion or 300 million or 400 million, whatever he's worth, maybe a little bit more. And he has and he has probably connected to, you know, who he's connected to. He probably has a lot of power, a lot of influence, and, and money could buy anything, you know? So this woman is scared for her life, you know? She's not going to, because, you know, th there's video footage of her getting beat up by Conor and her, then then she jumps off the yacht. It's going to ruin, it's going to basically ruin Conor McGregor. So obviously she was in, she's kind of like, she was definitely in danger, I would say, you know? Like, I would say she was definitely in danger because. You know what I mean? Connor's reputation is very serious to him, and she she could easily ruin it with some footage from CCTV. You know, and he has all the money in the world to do anything he wants right now. He has a lot of power. Connor is very powerful, and he's very young. He's only he's like 34, 35, 35 almost. He has a lot of money, a lot of influence. Very, very. He can be, you know, people like people that that, that much power. It's power. Power is dangerous. You know what I mean? And we all know Connor can be very erratic. So it's very dangerous. You know, Connor can be very dangerous. Continue. The Irishman is currently filming for this year's edition of The Ultimate Fighter, which is um, coaching opposite Michael Chandler ahead of the planned fight later this year. Fighter, et cetera, et cetera. And that's basically the whole article. And obviously, we also know he's also shooting, um, I think, the Roadhouse movie. You know, it's, it's, a, it's the remake of Patrick Swayze's movie. So he's doing The Ultimate Fighter. And in fact, Michael Chandler after that, he's doing Roadhouse. So this would, like, ruin his whole career. This would ever come out. It would just fuck his movie shit up. It's Ultimate Fighter, The Ultimate Fighter thing up. UFC thing up, his reputation in general up. Don't forget, he's still the president of Proper 12, even though he sold it. He's still, like, involved in there. He would fuck that up. It would fuck up so many things. So I'm sure she, like, she definitely got scared or something or something something else was to happen besides besides the firebomb thing and the and the break through the through, through her windows or whatever. Or else there must, there must have been some other things that have happened that haven't been reported yet. But she's just scared, you know? She's a woman, you know? She's, just, she's by herself. She's scared. You know, Conor McGregor is very powerful. Once again, I'm, you know, I'm repeating myself. He has money, influence. He could, do, he, could do, he could do anything. You know, he pretty much has reached anywhere. I would say, you know, very, very well connected. Like, remember what happened with the Artem thing when um Khabib grabbed Artem by the back of his head? Conor came with like 20, 30 goons to Barclays Center, which is sick. You know, that means he had to fly everybody out from Ireland, bring them to Barclays Center. You know what I mean? Like, he, I'm sure he has. He's very, very connected. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. You know, this is like, it's just crazy. When I saw it, this shit really got dropped. I'm like, holy shit, bro. Conor McGregor is like a, like, like a, kind of like a mob guy now, right? He's like a, he's, 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 he went from a UFC fighter to a businessman, rich, crazy money. Now he's like a mob guy. It's just sick. You know, he's only getting more and more powerful, more and more rich. He's probably going to be a billionaire soon. I would say before, before he's 40 or like somewhere like that, he'll be a billionaire mob guy, whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's really it's really crazy, you know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she just happened to just, just drop the court case out of nowhere? Like, why would she drop the court case out of nowhere? You know what I mean? 
it doesn't make any sense. Like, like, wh like, what benefit would she have from dropping the court case besides maybe her life being in danger? Maybe, maybe she was scared. Maybe, like, there has to be a reason for it. You know what I mean? Like, what's the real reason for her, her court case being dropped? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, it doesn't make any sense why her show would be dropped. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I just want to show you the article on um, sportskeeda.com. See, so, Irish woman who accused Conor, Conor McGregor of assault had her car attacked and set on fire. Just in case anyone says, how do you know her car got set on fire? Blah, 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 right? There you go. Sports Kita. You can look it up yourself. It was literally set on fire. It says right in the title. And um, you can look up um, Samantha Murphy and put car firebomb, and you, you can find that too, just in case you're wondering how I know that her car was set on fire. And from what I see today, this article was like a month ago, January 30th. It's February 23rd. So so her car was literally set on fire a, like um, about a month ago. The incident happened in, in July 15th or something like that. Whenever Connor's birthday is, that's when it happened, right? It was on Connor's 34th birthday. That's when it happened. But she started the lawsuit, you know, so... It's just crazy, this whole situation, right? Like, yeah. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, It's me, Mr. Casual. Remember, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys can please subscribe to help support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. Be safe, everybody. All right, take care.